All right, boys and girls, um, these are the tools that we're going to use for this next project. And if you notice, um, the method that we're going to use today is the same thing that we use for our magic spelling. We're going to use this crayon and this texture plate behind the paper to kind of make a fun texture on our drawing. So first, we got to decide what we're going to draw. And I'm just going to do a landscape. Um, I'm going to put a tree really big tree here on the side um, and then let's see behind my tree I'm gonna make a little pond and then on my pond I'm gonna make a duck that's gonna be like swimming in the water Quack. there's his little eye and I'm gonna make some plants Maybe some little flowers. So I'm just kind of adding a few little details that I'm going to have. All right, then back here, I'm going to do my horizon line, which is going to kind of go behind. And then I'm going to have some mountains behind my horizon line. I'm going to have some puffy clouds and a sun, all kinds of fun stuff in here. And you can draw whatever you want, okay? Now what I'm going to do is take this texture and I'm going to put that texture behind my paper. And using my crayon, I'm going to color in that texture, which is kind of tough because you can't really see it very well. And I'm going to color that texture in behind all of my things. Nope, not right now, buddy. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to move that texture over to this side. Okay. I'm doing a video of a project that somebody could try if they wanted to. Right? Can I keep that? Okay, so I colored the whole thing with white. Now I'm going to make my green grass and it should show through. So now, when I color over that texture... Is that actually grass? That texture that I colored with the white is going to show through. Can I keep that? You see how that texture is showing? Um, actually, Nolan, can you do me a favor and go get me a different texture? Maybe one for like uh, some blue water. So I'm actually coloring over the top. Oh, to sign in. Okay, I'll do that in just a sec. Um, boys and girls, we kind of ran out of blues. We don't have enough for everyone. So can someone share with Emma their blue marker? So I'm kind of going through, and I'm making that texture show through my marker. Where are the oh, nope, I need the texture plate. I'll go get it. Okay, so can you see how that swirl is showing through my green grass? Can I use this? Okay. Alright, so now for the next one, I'm going to use my white crayon. And I'm going to color in these waves in the water. So you'll see this texture here is going to show up in my water. Oh. What's a duck in me? I don't know yet. Don't you have to do the blue sky? I do. I'm going to choose a different texture for that part though. Let's see. Another texture is... Can I go get you a new texture? Here. So I'm going to use the white. And I'm going to color in my tree trunk. And then I'm going to use a brown marker. All right. Can I use this? And let's see, another good one. 
maybe for the tree. Ooh, for the back. I like that. I you got me one? Okay. So I like, I see this texture here. It's kind of bumpy like rocks. So I'm going to use my white crayon. And I'm going to color my rocks. Will you wait for the QR code? Can we do something else? Um, nope, let me just finish this up real quick and then I will pull up that QR code. How's that? <laughs> Can't you just stop the video right now? Mike? No, because I want to get as much of this done so I can show it to everybody. So there's the Whoa. wood grain. What? And then here's the mountains in the background. That is pretty cool how the texture shows through. I think so. I it, have it's kind of like using the the um it's spelling. Not work, Nolan. Yeah, Nolan, you're gonna you can make this now. There we this, go. See how that works? I'll finish that up and then we'll snap a picture of it.